Shelby? I studied in a convent school in Pune. So, when uh, we had an English teacher, his name was Father Mario Fernandez. He used to be a boxer before he became a priest. Very strong guy. Okay. And uh, when we would ask, can I go to the toilet? He would say, you can, but you may not. <laughs> Shall we start? And I, if I say, can we start? You say, you can, but you may not. <laughs> so, in, in our effort to understand our behavioral dimension of living, um, we've, we've, we've examined the self, seen ourselves as a human being. We've examined existence and determined our relationship with existence. We've also seen how existence is and in an effort to understand um, or better understand our behavioral dimension of living, we um, try to see three fundamental ways in which we connect with people. And these are through these three really um, emotions of trust and, uh, you know, respect and affection. And we'll see where it is applied. And really, this is the place where we live as humans. We live in the family. We are born in some family. We continue to live in a family, and after we are gone, it is a family that sends us off also, okay? So, we won't obviously have time to go through all of them. Uh, I'll take up some aspects, some fundamental aspects, and then we can see what we like to focus on a little more. We have about until lunch time, and then, as I said, after lunch, we'll see if we can give a, get a summary and also a list of things that we could not cover so you know the syllabus uh, the the introductory the rest of the introductory syllabus so we have um, this uh, our first question is why family again we could have tried to reflect on this but i'm just going to go ahead because the, the, the back and forth will take time uh, it'll be nice to it would have been nice to have that kind of a session so why do we need a family? Is a family uh, a human construct? Is it something that we just made up that people are just doing and, you know, it's something they're just continuing forever without understanding or is there some reason for it, for some basis for it? So one is it gives a human being a place or program to live. Okay, so it, it gives me a set of responsibilities, events and a frame to be in. And you can see the tilde sign and it says like atoms. What does that mean? When we look at atoms, we see that particles are not alone. In, in nature, you don't find electrons and bosons and gluons and, you know, uh, floating. They come together and they form something sensible and that's called the atom. And that thing that comes together, that's called the atom, really exhibits a kind of behavior, which is definite. So if you take oxygen... It has a definite behavior and it doesn't consist of one thing. There are many things that come together to form one thing. Similarly, also in human beings, there is no identity for an individual in living. Okay, uh, For those that feel or there has been a school of thought that has seen uh, human living itself as some kind of a bondage. So the aim of human living actually has been then postulated to get out of that bondage. So basically to escape the confines and the bounds of the family. However, here it is seen as an essential part of living, okay, and it really gives us a frame to be able to base our life in, where where all the four dimensions will, uh, you know, fructify, you know, fruition. Nahi to kya hoga? Char mein se only one will fruition. Let's say I am an intellectual, so only my intellectual aspect is going. I am not living. Uh, main karma yogi hu. I'll only work. There is no behavior, right? I am a spiritually oriented person. Now, I have nothing to do with the world. But that's actually an imagination because we need the world to tell our spiritual gains. Finally, I come back and talk about it in the world. So, family is a necessity. It's also a place for living safely. What does that mean? We are able to practice what we saw as social law. And we'll see that that really is human character. It was called Swadhan, Swanari, Swapurushan, Dayapun, Karevavar. Okay? So, righteous wealth, conjugal 
uh, nature of uh, you know marital relationship as well as kindness in behavior and work it's a place where we can practice it so we say safe when you are a family man people say this is a family person they even in society if you see you know you go as a family somewhere there is a different way in which you are received you go alone like i came with my family and i'm teaching i got a room uh, had i come alone then i would have probably been sleeping here okay or anywhere isko kahi bhi bitha do hai na kya farak padta hai but because you have a child and all that and plus of course it was assumed uh, when we came my wife said well we stay i said we are getting a room she said but if everybody else is staying in a dormitory why shouldn't we stay in a dormitory i said baat to sahi hai but then i'll need some time in the mornings and evenings to you know and if there are a lot of people then there can be some disturbance etc so if anyways i'm going to stay you two also might as well stay with me uh, so to be in social law so also for the proper direction utilization of the mind body and wealth तो ब्रैकेट में भोग लेकर आया इसका मतलब क्या है विद इन द फैमिली थिंग्स ऑटोमेटिकली कम अंडर कंट्रोल तो क्या होता है इफ देर इज अ चाइल्ड देन यू कैन नॉट बी थिंकिंग अबाउट योर ओन फूड यू हैव टू थिंक ऑफ द चाइल्ड्स फूड आल्सो सो माय सेल्फ सेंटरनेस ऑटोमेटिकली इज काइंड ऑफ डाइल्यूटेड व्हेन देयर आर मोर पीपल फॉर मी टू लिव विद एंड मोर पीपल टू टेक केयर ऑफ नहीं तो इट विल बी आई मी माय सेल्फ सवेरे उठ के मुझे क्या अच्छा लगता है दोपहर को क्या अच्छा लगता है नहीं नाउ आई हैव टू थिंक वाइफ को क्या अच्छा लगता है बच्चे को क्या अच्छा लगता है माई फादर एज अ स्टमक एक आई हैव टू टेक हिम फॉर दिस ब्लड प्रेशर चेकअप आई हैव टू टेक हिम फॉर दिस नाउ आई नो लॉन्गर हैव टाइम टू गो टू द बियर बार ऑटोमेटिकली है ना ऑटोमेटिकली इट इज अ प्लेस वेयर द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज आर काइंड ऑफ फूड सो पीपल लिविंग इन फैमिलीज टिपिकली विल हैव अ लेसर यू नो टेंडेंसी or possibility to really go out and do what is called as bhog or only bhog uh, third also is there is an interlinking between family and society uh, both for relationships okay and also for uh, health so really if you see uh, many families come together to form society okay uh, society is nothing but a collection of families that are bound in a particular way so what happens is when uh, you have more than one family so there is an interlinking so it's not that our family is isolated it is usually linked to few more families and this forms actually a web of interrelationship and interlinking and many such webs together is called society society is not some abstract number uh, so bangalore population is 80 lakh rupees that is a statistical number but that's not bangalore bangalore is actually the set of these five or six or 10 sets of families like kutumbas are living and if you notice on a sunday these are the people who are traveling they are going for a wedding somebody died they are going there kisi ka janam din hai hai na somebody fell sick they are going to the hospital so this is bangalore this a whole set of people that's moving up and down and across so family and society is seen as an interlinked whole here all right and living in family we also contribute to society how do we do that by producing something so the work that i do in my family is of some use to society okay i may be making cups i may be making a glass i may be maybe i am a barber so you know my family profession is that of being a barber so i'm contributing to society in some way by uh, joining the profession of the family which is called the vyavsaya okay and also by ensuring justice within the family so this really is and also family is a safe place to rear children okay uh it's a place where the child learns skills it's a place where the child feels assured about relationship about its own parents it's a place where the child learns to be civil sabeta if an elder comes then you know fold your feet and sit that uncle came give him a glass of water so we learn to be civil nahi to you know somebody comes at home bachcha is just staring at the fellow how will you learn sabeta he doesn't know what to do you cannot tell him get up and go instruction based nahi hai wo one shot why so from childhood itself it starts learning so that's where civility is also learned and a place where the child can possibly grow intellectually okay so we have materially skills so if i mean that's that's traditionally that's how we did the website child would do the website of the parents abhi ye ho gaya ki you know father will be an mba son will become a doctor and so on because the website has moved away from the family it's gone into society it's no longer within the family or the village okay but really it's a place where we would also learn skills so this is a brief of why we need family i am going to continue in this little drone 
if you want to stop me just stop me okay so that we can get to some place so there are seven uh, relationships that we have and the values that we saw are actually inherent or experienced in these seven relationships i will just read the headline here today our relationships are usually based on the body so they are body centric or they are material centric okay uh, because sometimes for instance marriage is seen as a financial transaction the relationship between a father and son is also seen materially how much money was he able to give kitna paisa kamaya hai na business ke liye kitna growth kiya usne so what is happening the uh, mulyankan the evaluation instead of being on nyay and nyay it is becoming labha lab you understand we are taking we are evaluating the family relationship on the basis of the material domain again you know due, due to this basic confusion that we have already discussed also between siblings typically when people grow up jagra kab hota hai not before both realize that they have access to the wealth now family wealth how will it be split up becomes a problem bone of contention you know who will get which side of the land <laughs> and my grandfather when i asked my grandfather to write the will i said you 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 should write it now because later on it's a headache we live somewhere it's in tamil nadu and you know we had about 3 acres he said no so i want to give the front portion to you and the back portion to your brother i said namaste abhi everything is going on fine with me and my brother if you do front and back we are gone yeah then he said why did you get the front and why did i get the back then i have to put him through this nyay dharm satya and la ba la wo to bhag jayega so what is the easier way i said just give it to your daughter i said give it to my mother so at least we postpone the problem for 20 years abhi 20 saal baad niptenge and uh, so right now it's yeah so basically um splitting of wealth becomes a problem and if there is a lab drishti uh, when we are seeing that relationship then that accentuates the problem okay so again sometimes the relationship is belief centric for it, and we already saw some of that correct what should be the relationship between a husband and wife do we have a stable understanding for this do we have a yatharth understanding for this or this is based on belief and customs aaj kya hai belief and customs so how if i am a male where does my view of how to be with my wife come from from what i've seen my father doing what i've seen my uncle doing what i've seen amitabh bachchan doing nahi to mere paas kuch choice hi nahi kahan se milega school mein to nahi padha rahe religious text mein nahi hai pita ji ko pata nahi so i'll copy my father what will my wife do she'll copy her mother some aunt if she has seen her mother suffer at the hands of her father the girl will become rebellious automatically before marriage so once you marry you basically married a rebel you don't know because it is not in a set of questions we ask before marriage no are you rebellious by nature we don't ask shaadi ke baad pata chalta hai baba ye har cheez ke liye jhagda karti hai if you ask her chai lao main kyu lao मैं क्यों लाओ मेरी माँ लाती थी तुम भी लाओ फिर तुमको अपने माँ से शादी करना था वाई डिड यू मैरी मी इफ यू वॉन्टेड सम बडी टू गेट टी मैरी योर मदर बिकॉज शी गिव्स यू टी सो नाउ वी हैव एन आर्ग्यूमेंटेड वाइफ और अ हजबेंड एंड देन दैट गोज डाउन हिल बिकॉज रियली वी डोंट नो वॉट दिस रिलेशनशिप इज बिकॉज इट्स नॉट रिटर्न एनी वेयर एंड नो बडी टॉटर्स सो वैन वी आर एबल टू इमेज द लाइफ ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बींग then we are able to see or study the purpose of every relationship okay luckily a lot of it matches with what you are already doing okay so really the notions and beliefs are embedded in us and we have really picked it up from all over the place yeah and uh, so uncovering some of these beliefs then becomes essential so what is our state in relationships today the third one again is what are the previous one number ये चार नंबर होना चाहिए द फोर्थ वन इज प्रेफरेंस सेंट्रिक वॉट इज दैट मीन इट इज नॉट अ बिलीव दैट इज कम फ्रॉम समवेयर बट इट इज समथिंग दैट आई लाइक एंड आई डोंट लाइक ओके सो इफ द अदर पर्सन डज नॉट बिहेव अकॉर्डिंग टू वॉट आई थिंक दे शुड बी डूइंग देन आई हैव अ प्रॉब्लम इन दैट रिलेशनशिप विच वी ऑलरेडी सीन वी टेक द अदर पर्सन केस एंड बिकॉज द अदर पर्सन इज ऑल्सो डूइंग दैट वी फील 
repelled and what are the things that blind us these are the three things that blind us the first one is called obstinacy hut in kannada they call it hatta hmm? but in kannada the hatta is actually uh, you know is called uh, mada uh, here so abhiman you know i think i'm too great that is abhiman and excitement which is called mad it actually blinds us and in turn binds us the blinding really binds me into one kind of behavior and then i'm not going to get out right so we're not willing to then let go if one side is constantly trying to rein in the other which is why earlier you know they would try and match i think uh, they were they used to hope that by matching the kundali the properties can be matched hai na kitne logon ka kundli match karke shaadi hua kundli match karke shaadi hua gauri and i got married and then somebody said do you want to match the kundli and see i said too late usme kuch ulta likha hai to i'll get biased so let it be ha manglik dikha raha tha aapka so then nobody want then you need a manglik to marry na aise hi hai ya my father and mother are well matched my father is full of opinion my mother has no opinion <laughs> it's good shanti hai because if there are two opinions anyways both of them are wrong they have a problem so the matches are that way you know one aggressive one docile dono aggressive problem hai both have a view on what is astitva darshan gaya I think this is the way existence is बहुत अच्छा Keep it, है ना I am not interested in it. It's actually better off. So sometimes that works, but of course here we are saying uh, what should be there. So this repulsion is basically because of all this, really, and the emotional distance starts increasing over time, despite sharing everything else, correct? Uh, because we are repelled. And what are the things we share with people in the family? we share our body so in the husband and wife relationship the body is shared that is the only relationship in which we share the body baki sab mein body ka proximity hota hai for instance if it is my mother i'll feel come very comfortable sitting right next to her if it is somebody else's mother hai na you cannot go sit chipakke even if you say mujhe aapke prati ekdam anandata ka bhav lag raha hai prem lag raha hai dil still say that's all okay but why say theek hai just sit there hai na this side belongs to my mother my son right so there are also these proximities that we experience uh what is our condition today right and really we are focusing on the first one which is the material dimension so our focus is largely here we ignore the second one or we have some kind of beliefs there and uh it's only when we have understanding which is on the third one that this one into really fall into place what are our pain points in relationship today and the reasons for them one differing development in the jeevan hmm mera chitran viksit ho gaya dusra man ke star se hi je raha somebody else is only interested in food and money and i am interested in saving society gich pich gich pich gich pich hoga okay so priya hit lab nyay dharm satya again the drishti doesn't match sometimes basic purpose of you know and goals don't match mentality doesn't match okay one person is very open minded the other person is very close minded i am very outgoing my wife is very reserved so this becomes a cause for uh, you know disturbance in the family the second pain point is to do with behavioral which is differing expectations yeah the first one is really how we are as a person the second is to do with the expectations and the habits so having a bath two times a day folding your clothes on time washing your feet before getting into the bed leaving the toilet seat down hai na ye sab baad mein aayega in habits here pain points differing bodily afflictions and i go mad if i don't get coffee in the morning wife doesn't care for coffee i have a belief that wife should give me coffee gaya wife doesn't want to have coffee i cannot get up in the morning without coffee i have a belief that wife should give me coffee 
ये प्रॉब्लम करेगा कि नहीं करेगा बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू वेट अप इन द मॉर्निंग आई नीड कॉफी बट माई बिलीव सेज वाइफ इज अन शुड गिव कॉफी एंड वाइफ डज इन नीड कॉफी so both of us have different tastes and if there is a different belief then it causes a problem so really the different working styles the different lifestyles how we maintaining things these are little things that sometimes can balloon into big problems so out of these three any one or two or all three may be predominant in certain relationships okay so today if you see these are the issues due to which we have problems and of course the last one that has popped up in green is the body so we're not happy with the body of the person we stay with in and, and typically this is in a husband wife relationship but also between brothers between a you know sister correct can these three problems happen only between husband and wife or it can happen between a father and brother also between siblings between me and my younger brother yeah so this really creates a duri a difference and if you are not able to appreciate the fact as to why it's happening then that duri becomes real that's the problem okay so solution or resolution or samadhan uttar kya hai see that we both want the same thing and are similarly equipped see ka matlab understand hai na accept see that both are similar and are at a similar or differing disadvantage okay due to these differences you know i have had a different growth pattern my jeevan has gone through different growth pattern hers has or his has gone through different growth pattern of the people who live inside my house so my mother's drishti vishesh swabhav can be very different from mine even though she is my mother is samajh mein aata hai it is my mother but she is so different why because the drishti vishesh swabhav is very different because our individual trajectories have been so different all right our basic nature our motives can be very different my mother can be very profit centric and i may not care for money not that becomes a point for clash hai na mai bahar ja ke aata meri maa ko to kitna diya how much did he give for that 120 you fool you should have given 80 bucks why because oh you should have bargained now i feel wo aadmi bura hai i have to do good for society to mera drishti alag hai so now this becomes a garshan point within the house which is why we can't stay together so really if you are able to appreciate that this is a whole human being that is the same as me but is different in these respects it helps us better appreciate or see where the person comes from so what is really the solution solution is not that i change the other person because i cannot change i can only change myself and that's going to take 15 years if you are lucky okay <laughs> may may take longer so what is the solution really seems to be that we gracefully accept the above and that will yield us emotional stability correct instead of struggling to have my way or feeling suffocated that i have to fit into somebody else's tendencies two things can happen either i am trying to enforce my way or i have to try and fit into the other person's way if i am going to try and enforce my way is going to react to a conflict if i have to listen to the other person i will feel suffocated so the only answer is to be able to have this emotional stability and of course if things go really out of hand then make achi nishchit duri you know when we were thinking of building a house one of my colleagues who was also my boss told me don't build a house where i think in retrospect i think he was right yeah but i was very idealistic i said no we'll all stay together this is before this jeevan vidya or after it yeah so the initial jeevan vidya shivir sometimes i mean some of them can make people very idealistic which is not so good <laughs> because the world is not like that so he said dekho shri ram teen flat banao hai na teen flat ek ghar mein mat raho aamne samne bhi mat karo बीच बीच में एक एक फ्लोर छोड़ देना यू ऑन द फर्स्ट फ्लोर है ना योर पेरेंट्स ऑन द थर्ड फ्लोर एंड योर ब्रदर ऑन द फिफ्थ फ्लोर बीच में एक फ्लोर का गैप चाहिए सो इफ यू आर शाउटिंग इन द हाउस द वाइफ देर विल नॉट बी टेंशन की दे कैन हियर वॉट यूर सेइंग दे कैन नॉट हियर सो यू आर क्लोज बाय एंड स्टिल लिटिल फार अवे नॉट इवन वन फ्लोर अबाउ द अदर गिव इन द वे पीपल आर टूडे रियली आई थिंक यू आर राइट सो and then i can try to action after while accepting this i now try to action my universal 
यूनिवर्सल का मतलब द ह्यूमेन गोल्स दैट आई वुड लाइक टू परस्यू विच कैन बी मटीरियल इन नेचर विच इज टू डू विद लाइफ स्टाइल एंड प्रोडक्शन दैट आई लाइक माई इंटेलेक्चुअल स्पिरिचुअल और सोशल परस्यूट्स विदाउट रिजेक्टिंग डिनाइंग और हैविंग कंटेम्प्ट फॉर दी अदर ये यदि करते हैं देन इट बिकम्स अ प्रॉब्लम एंड हियर नॉट दैट मी इंटेलिक्स इज पीपल विल बिकॉज देर इज एन ओल्ड हिसाब किताब इट मे नॉट गो अवे इमीडिएटली I have. There are so many things that have said in the past. So many things have said. You don't know this. You don't know that. You're a fool. Your God is nonsense. वो सब बना ही रहता है, है ना? That जो blabber mouth होता है ना, there is a Pakistan का finance minister है. He is called a motor mouth. Motor mouth है ना? Motor mouth का मतलब बिना सोचे बोल देता है, कुछ भी बोल देता है. So the things that we've done and said to each other in the past cannot be erased. All right. So if we are able to do this. without commenting or rejecting on the other person and be able to accept the situation and still pursue that is the only way out you can't change the other person and sometimes fitting into what the other person wants can also be very suffocating because then we cannot express that respective aspect of ours yeah like for instance in my house luckily for me my parents let me have my own intellectual and spiritual beliefs and don't try and enforce it on me I also let them have theirs. So I'm called to the temple a few times a year. I go. I do what is expected of me. I'll wear the dhoti and whatever it is has to be done. Only thing is, I'll be little efficient about it. I'll go exactly when the door is going to open. Da da da. Four times I'll do. I'll go around three times. I'll say namaste and go out, and keep my mouth shut. My mother still. Na- my mother is quite greedy that way because if I come, she'll see if I can wait for another half an hour to get some more punya or something. then i have to say no no i have a call and i have to go right so if you are not if you are not just going hindi mein bolta na ladna i am not weighing the other person with my beliefs even if i feel they are universal and if they are able to give me that space then it's fine okay so you can do this exercise at home it's actually a useful exercise in each of these relationships these are really the seven relationships we'll study write down what assumptions notions or expectations you have if you are a father what do you ex- i mean if you are a father and or mother what do you expect from your son and daughter if you are a son or daughter what do you expect from your parents and what is the basis for it if you are a brother what do you expect from the sister and vice versa friends both male and female similarly teacher student colleague coworker and again society citizen relationship is not such a big deal but really all the others okay and if there is a mismatch which there will be we can go back to the previous slide and see where it arises from theek okay? hai that was a monotonous drone so i'll just stop for a minute and see if you have something to say nothing to say speechless <laughs> plenty to do yeah um so i uh i have already only asked you yeah mic idhar idhar aapke bagal mein right here behind you behind you said earlier that uh, ignoring someone is uh uh disrespectful disrespectful yeah but then distancing yourself yeah from someone is something that is uh presented as a uh yeah not not solution but like as a uh as as like when everything else fail, fails then uh then that that is the only thing you can do so in that sense uh, what would be the uh the difference like the difference would be that you're in the meantime you're studying yourself yeah yeah so distancing would not mean ignoring distancing would basically mean means that we are um you know creating a safety barrier and uh, securing that person and us at least to maintain the status quo and not let it go down that's the purpose it would probably solve because this process of 
us changing and all that sometimes takes time uh, maybe many years depending on the nature of the impact and its severity but otherwise that's what distancing would serve there is a chance that by distancing that because we've seen i've seen cases where you know some people i know whatever have been with again all of this is a relationship wala jo hai na before marriage they get very messy and mucky within marriage it's actually in one sense very easier which is why if you like somebody you should just marry them the next day and not wait for too long <laughs> because then you are stuck together and then the way you see the thing will change but uh, so i've seen one instance that i can think of now where one one side wanted to make a distance which make made a lot of sense but it was emotionally worsening the female side and staying together was also impossible ye dur be gaya to bhi it was getting impossible fir to bahut bada kichdi ho gaya you know emotional kichdi because then this fellow felt he is responsible for her plight and he is responsible for her plight even if he stays with her and even if he distances himself dono se hi kichdi hai hmm in those cases what we can only do is protect ourselves can't do anything for the opposite entity and just leave it to the goodness of better beings kya karoge so sometimes in relationships our decisions have to be surgical so being affectionate and sensitive doesn't mean that we become you know gui it can be very clinical also be very clear and we stick with the emotion or the decision okay so this is an exercise we can do another exercise there we already saw this what would be the stable basis for a relationship roop and gun or swabhav and dharm form and qualities or basic nature and innateness swabhav and dharm so if looks gender color clothes jewels is going to be a basis for that relationship it could be that of a friend a husband wife you know brother and sister if the kind of person that they are only that is going to be the basis their interest the memories their behavioral patterns then it becomes a problem although there needs to be some kind of match it cannot be totally opposite okay but if that is the only basis then it's a messy lock to get out of very difficult so the only way to be is to be able to uh, really delineate myself from this level and and land at the swabhav dharm level existentially there's no other answer that's what we try to do in this exercise yeah the five steps that we spoke of theek hai so we've gone through that what is relationship the relationship has a very beautiful definition here in the darshan it is called purnata ke arth mein anubandh to be bound with another human with the objective of completeness hai na so i'm not uh, it's not a bandhan it's not a bondage i'm already bound because both of us are in this vyapak remember the guy with the watch under the tree you can't run away from him so similarly you can't run away from the people you live with can't can't run away from the family so and so how, why am i with this person basically to help them become complete and for me also to become complete in all four dimensions ideally that's the case so we are only going to study what is what is not anyways is happening okay so what is relationship it means the acceptability of responsibility which is called daitva and duty kartavya towards the other human being relationship is not for fun maja marne ke liye nahi hai hai na or it is not an accident why did you have children i don't know they just happened 
what are you going to do with them i don't know they will just grow up why it is natural see that palm tree is growing so humans bachcha will also grow jhad hai kya bachcha ha is not a creeper that you just put on the side and apne aap ban gaya tomatoer and sometimes you don't plant trees no wo tomato ka ke pek diya tomato ka jhad ho gaya kaise apne aap ho gaya ji nahi hai people have tried both you know they have thought to think of children as accidental plants who grow and then they will grow to become a human natural growing hai na uske liye technical name hai unschooling unschooling ka matlab schooling in a different way kuch to hoga school so it's not accidental why did i marry it's not accidental not to be able to have bed you know be in bed with somebody not because the whole world there is a purpose to it why is my father a father it's not accidental there is a purpose to it there is an existential purpose to it which will help me fulfill my behavioral material intellectual and spiritual need and my father's also so in every saman is very simple these four dimensions we started with वो चार में से किसी एक डायमेंशन को दैट संबंध इज फुलफिलिंग इन सम वे वेरी इजी फ्रॉम डे वन आई टोल्ड यू नो दैट दैट्स लाइक द ई इक्वल टू एम सी स्क्वायर ऑफ आर लाइफ एवरीथिंग विल कम आउट ऑफ इट द सेम थिंग फॉर एग्जांपल यू गो टू वर्क है ना आई वर्क इन अ पोस्ट ऑफिस आई हैव अ कॉलीग ओके लेट्स से आई एम द बॉस आउट ऑफ द फोर डायमेंशंस व्हिच डायमेंशन आर वी इंटरैक्टिंग थ्रू मटेरियल बिहेवियरल व्हाट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ आर इंटरैक्शन material sida simple i have a friend okay we both go out hang out discuss our difficulties we figure out we try to help each other i am taking out oil in the house he helps me buy the peanuts what are we helping each other with behavioral and material we are sitting in this workshops in 7 days what are we interacting on the basis of what is our objective all of them but basically intellectual we are trying to un- intellectually understand what is behavioral and material materially we didn't do anything behaviorally also we hardly we are all smiling at each other in the last 8 days you see kaise aap good morning good morning aaj din se chal raha hai because even if you're feeling gruff and grumpy you can't show it you say what will the other people think of me and they're thinking of coexistence and let me bet i might as well smile <laughs> so every relationship and this is a beautiful part of the darshan is basically saying it has uh, a purpose okay and if we are able to understand that purpose then we practice it and the values in these that we studied are expressed in these relationships so that trust affection respect is not hanging somewhere in the air it is expressed it is felt for a particular human being okay this is the fundamental itna hi hai in the family and then each of these settings has a particular purpose it fulfills okay which which can be discussed and which needs to be discussed and studied so this is a one of our friends uh came up with this is a beautiful way to represent uh, the journey the arrows are a little off okay but we'll bear with it it should be a thoda aisa hona chahiye right? it's like it's off at about 45 degrees should have been at 180 degrees so where does it start imagine this arrow here a child is born to who to a mother every human child comes out of the womb ande se nahi nikalta hai and a pindat sansar it is called pindat sansar and pind anda in anda what happens is the egg comes out in pindas the egg stays inside and it is fertilized inside so every mother has eggs and the interesting thing is the child the girl child is born with all the eggs she will need for her whole lifetime on the day of birth baad mein banta nahi hai and then they are fertilized at different points in time hai na so when the egg is fertilized you need a male so father and mother both are needed akele bachcha ban nahi sakta or you have to manage this in a test tube and put it inside or put it in somebody else's womb which is called surrogacy but this is needed for a child to come out so what is the mother's responsibility to nurture the child to nourish yahan nurture likh diya hai nourish hai 
and the father's responsibility is protection. So who is a father? The one who calls himself a father or one who is able to protect? The one who is able to protect is called a father. If I have been cause for the child but I am not protecting, when I still be the father? No, I am legally the father but I am nowhere to be seen. Bhagya. Hota hai na? Log bhag jate. They run away. So what is important here is the, the name mother and father is not a gender identification. It is the kriya. The entity that is nourishing the child is called the mother. And that entity happens to be the one in whose womb the child developed. The entity that is nourishing, the protecting the child is called the father. What does that mean? The father takes the primary responsibility for protection. And it happens quite naturally. Like I have seen it with Devika. Although I didn't kind of mindfully, like I, I was kind of aware. I had information about all of this when Devika was born. Okay. Uh, both Gauri and I, we had information about all of this before before we had Devika or before Devika happened to us. And uh, it's turning out that she goes to her mother for nurturing and emotional support. The mother, you know, kind of nursed her in the initial year and I kept her free of diseases and viruses and bacteria. Not that I kind of planned it and that's perhaps so. It's pretty uh, interesting that, you know, as humans, whatever we do, even if we're able to do less and more, is kind of in tune with the way nature intended it to be. You can't run away too far away from it. Because the mother is the one that has to really nurse the child. Naturally, do then ma kahi mamta. So, automatically that bhava comes up. So, this is the mother, this is the father. Once the child starts growing up, the other entity that it needs really is other children to play with. There should have been another arrow here. So you need friends. After some time, the child, so initially the child is going to be clinging on to the mother. Then it will cling on to the father. Then it will cling on to both of them. Then it will let go of both of them and look for another dimension which is called as a friend. See where my daughter is now? Not with us. We see where your child is with you. But it is on its way there. At that time, I have to let it go. If I try to pull it back, then I am stunting some need that it needs. And what is this need? This need is to play. This need is to explore. This need is to get company and then finally support. It is called Mitra Sambandh. So there is an inherent need, an implicit need in the child to explore the world together with somebody of its age, not with the parents. And then it will come back to the parents for the demand. That's the only thing it comes back for. It doesn't come back for anything else. And at night, my daughter needs my wife. She needs my wife when she wakes up. By around 8 a.m., she doesn't need my wife anymore. Khatam ho gaya. Beach mein you try to bring her, she doesn't pay any attention. Then it looks like it is very selfish. Yeah, so, if as parents we don't understand that, then we get very confused and we confuse the child too. Now, once it has come to the age of 6 or 7 or 8, the natural enquiry process in it starts. Till this time, it is really looking at the parents and learning everything that they do. So, the parents really are the first teachers for the child. It is looking at when they get up, when they sleep, how they speak to each other, how they speak to it, how they speak to visitors in the house, what work is done in the house, who does the work, who is in charge, who listens to whom, sub record kar hai. So if there are servants in the house, I have seen my friends who are from kind of, let's say, super rich families, not just rich. Ultra rich, not even super, okay. <laughs> Ultra rich families. Uh, yeah, so ultra rich families who have not just servants but multiple servants in the house, many, 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 multitudinous. Uh, the child at age eight starts behaving like it is a boss of the house and it is asking the servants to get things for it because that's what it sees its parents do. So it also sees our behavior, the work that we do. 
and then by age eight or nine when it starts inquiring then you need a teacher to give it education why to fulfill the needs of the jivan because by looking at the parents it can fulfill the behavioral needs by looking at the work at home it can fulfill the skill based needs but for its own tripti what is called as jivan tripti it needs intellectual input on who it is why it is here what existence is like and what it is supposed to do in existence so this directionality that is needed by the child is provided by the teacher it may so happen that the teacher is the parent itself which the parent will have to be but we need a formal place where the children can do that and why the reason is because they have this dimension of being with friends they really grow up with a circle of children so they need you know the companionship of many others like them to be assured that what they are doing is correct so my daughter is able to you know do things with her classmates but if i sit with her alone and do a bhakti hai usko akele baith ke bolo do this math problem and why does she need to learn mathematics because it is needed to trade in the world also to develop her logical faculties yeah so when we look at education i mean we've stumbled on education so we can just write it there uh, all these areas have to be developed we have to give it so some questions it may ask the father okay like for instance when my grandmother died or passed away and then devika asked me where did she go so she was too young i said she's gone to god okay and then she kept going to the temple where my mother takes her there is a nice um uh, balaji murti there uh, and then nowadays i slowly ask her i said devika what do you see there she said uh, it's called umachi it's a god uh, in uh, baby language i said does he ever talk to you she said ah, gods don't talk uh, i said but if they don't talk how will they be able to help you then she got confused okay then so after three days she came and asked me again so i'm slowly trying to break her belief without disturbing her because she is going to see it around right and i don't want her to go running to my mother and saying appa told me there is no god fir to meri jaan jayegi and tu apne bacche ko bhi galat sikhata hai you know tu to gaya kaam se so the father the parents have to do that and tell her what is right and wrong but we need an educator so we see that when the the child when it goes to a formal learning environment um seems to develop some kind of seriousness that is missing which exists only when it exists only in the home environment for most children so when they go there and they see the setting and it doesn't matter whether children are wearing uniform and all that let's assume the all the kids are just like this but if there is somebody so learning in a formal environment in the company of others seems to bring about a seriousness in children okay and what is really the purpose of the educator very simple what are the things that the child is going to learn the order can be different but really only this much it needs to learn about its body about its senses it needs to pick up some skills it needs to learn the utility of things okay why are what is called as karma abhyas so skill learning now if the skill that it is supposed to do is to go and design a transformer then at some time it has to learn about transformer design yeah and, and we don't have time to think of what world it would be look like and all that but really there are some basic things that children have to learn and some advanced things that they have to learn depending on the profession they because we need transformers even if you are using solar energy or whatever energy you need something to step down the voltage and you need to know transformer design uh, we can't do it with our hands and feet and we are not going to go back to being tarzan that's not going to happen you know so that's one set the second is it needs to learn behavior now behavior is going to be majorly learned within the family if the school is decent a good school then hopefully the behavioral pattern in the house would be similar to the behavior in the school so there is no distinction unlike there is today and how to be in society again there can be lessons here 
but it has to be validated by the things it sees in the family. So, it needs both theoretical input as well as practical observation. Some areas it will need practical observation first and then theoretical input. Some areas the theoretical input will come first and then it will need the practical observation. Why? Because that's the way the jivan is designed. Kuch chijon ko dekh ke sikhe ga, jo man se karna hai. Eh? Ghar mein coffee bite hai. They talk nicely to people. You give a glass of water to somebody who comes. These are all man ke kriya. And it is stored in the chitran. Some things will come from the chitran. For example, India as a country, there is another country. You won't be able to see it practically. But it will come in the Geography will expand here. History will expand here. It needs to develop logic and learn what is valid logic and invalid logic. Right? So, for which science or scientific studies help. So, you have to develop the vritti. So, when we are looking at the intellect, so remember that the, that the living thing is to do with the man. Yeah, man se hum jeete hain. With, with material and with yahan likha tha na wo ho gaya matlab it's it's been uh, erased there are two material and behavior ye jo intellect hai that has been opened up here theek hai na so there are these impressions that happen so when we are talking it when we are talking about how to live, basically so that the man can work with the material and behavioral world and the images and the learning that is needed for that's one kind of learning. The other kind of learning or, or development that has to happen is develop its, you know, logical ability, develop the vritti. You know? So I feel sometimes that's, you know, science, mathematics helps us do that, the pursuit, because it helps develop the vritti. But who will tell it what is the correct vritti to use? Should I use likes or justice? That drishti will come from the house. So that's important. Not only are we developing vritti, but also what is the right way to use it. It is also expanding its chitran, the, the chitta kshetra, right? How vast can you go? So starting with the village, to the district, to the family, to the nation, to the internation, to the galaxies, to the multitude, all the way up to shunya. So, the chitta has to be developed. And then its purpose has to be communicated to it at some point in time, time, uh, time saying, you know, what is your ultimate purpose? It is this comprehensive happiness. And then what do you need to do? Well, you have to take all this information that we gave you over the last 15 years. You have to digest it, do manan on it and do sakshatkar. That it has to do on its own. I cannot do it for it. Okay? So, that really is education and which is why we need formal education setups all right again i put it in a very simplistic fashion we can take every area and probably write a book on it development of logic how will you do it content itna bada hoga practical sitna bada hoga hai na? and then we have to figure out the learning stages eighth standard what will you teach 10th what will you teach 12th and what is what is the necessary basic information for everyone do all of us need to go through differentials and calculus no okay then who will go how will we decide when the kid is in 8th ki a transformer banane wala hai ki pani puri banane wala hai? We don't know. Because if you don't teach it by 12 and then he says I want to make a transformer, you have to start a differential and calculus. So the entire education system will have to be read. We will have to completely throw this away and build a new one. Till then what will you do? We will limp. We will put some band-aid, some patti here, try to do something. And that can be discussed separately. And right now we'll talk about what is really, really needed uh, or what it looks like. So that is education. So the child has inquiry and the teacher fulfills that inquiry. So the purpose of the child is what? Daito kya hai? Bachche ka responsibility kya hai? To listen to what the teacher is saying, reflect on it and implement it. And what is the duty of the teacher? To be able to fulfill the child's inquiry. Before that, what is the role of the teacher? To create inquiry in the child. To create the grounds for inquiry, to make it curious. So, we try to do that in the first two days in the workshop. Took a little longer. Okay. But we have to first be curious about the workshop. I'm betting if you aren't. Then. Yeah, na? So, that's that. Then, the child grows up, becomes an adult. And then, it has to enter marital life. So, that's called the husband and wife relationship. 
the purpose of the husband wife relationship is to create the next generation i create another one like me so now i become cause for the act that created me i now participate in that act so this is really the responsibility that comes in the husband wife relationship we'll again discuss the nature of this relationship but this is essentially to be complementary to each other so the husband wife relationship is not a teacher student relationship common mistake that men make okay try to teach the wife and then find out it doesn't work i have a friend of mine who started um um he said my wife and i are going to do adhyan together from next week i said good what time he said 6 in the morning i said theek hai so uh, we were in the i called him after 15 days i said what happened both of you had started you know studying all this together he said band ho gaya i said why he said we got into an argument i said why did that happen he said i put my views on the, some aspect of the jeevan kriya and she didn't agree with it she had some other view i said then what happened he said no i told her you know for this um, project to be successful we'll have to both follow one condition she said what he said agya palan you will have to listen to everything i have to say <laughs> it broke down <laughs> obedience uh-huh. so demanding obedience the teacher can demand obedience on the child but it doesn't work in this this is a relationship of equals even if you are not intellectually aligned you have to assume it is equal so <laughs> otherwise it don't work because that is the nature of the relationship like you have a friend and let us say both of us are emotionally like this i, I mean intellectually yeah main bahut intellectual hu wo niche hai dono dost hai to kya dosti khatam ho jayegi tu bekuf hai isliye mera dost nahi hai nahi the dosti continues so the nature of the relationship decides what we do in it and also decides what we should not do in it so the purpose of the husband wife relationship is for progeny and also to give each other material behavioral emotional support intellectual support may or may not be there husband wife relationship is not to discuss whether quantum mechanics will go with string theory or not you can do that outside on youtube with a friend you know with somebody else it is to give each other support within the family system and to help each other materially it's a safe place to live okay so once this child grows up and enters the stage of the husband wife relationship one day if it is a male it will be a father if it is a female it will be a mother it then comes together it has a child so now this child has become an adult man and then this itself has had its own child and now it will offer the protection that it received from somebody else मुझे कहीं से संरक्षण मिला अभी मैं किसी को संरक्षण दूंगा समबड़ी नरिश मी सो आई मोनो नरिश समन सो आई पास इट ऑन एंड देन इट कंटिन्यूज करेक्ट सो आई रिसीव एजुकेशन फ्रॉम सम वन नाउ आई एम एन एजुकेटर सो आई गिव दैट एजुकेशन बैक एंड एज एन अडल्ट यू नो वी आल्सो फुलफिल द रिलेशनशिप विद अ ब्रदर सिस्टर इफ देयर आर सिब्लिंग्स सो दैट इज सिमिलर टू बीइंग a friend so that's really the company that we get and then to fulfill our material needs we have this relationship which is called sati sayogi or companion and coworker so this is a relationship when we are creating things so mother and father create the child nurture the child child grows up in the company of brother sister and friends teacher teaches the child child listens to teacher child grows up to be man man marries or wife marries मैन मतलब ह्यूमन है ये जेंडर वो हो गया है इट्स नॉट जेंडर न्यूट्रल बिकम फादर और मदर गिव्स राइज टू अनदर चाइल्ड टीचेस द चाइल्ड कंटिन्यूज टू प्ले कंटिन्यूज टू गेट द सपोर्ट ऑफ दिस और गिव सपोर्ट एंड नाउ प्रोड्यूस विद दिस एंड डाइज स्मशान घाट एंड द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन कंटिन्यूज एंड कंटिन्यूज एंड कंटिन्यूज सो वॉट्स दिस अलाइव इन ह्यूमन ट्रेडिशन आर रियली दीज relationships they never go away the people keep coming and going away this cycle continues okay so these are the seven relationships in one chart mic to bol so if i look at my relationships 
uh, uh, you also mentioned that uh, family is not just the family which we are now but also the parents ka uh, the kutumba so now i see myself we we are cut down from our kutumba already so i don't connect myself with other brothers and sisters other than my own uh, elder sister so is there a need for me to go back and connect with them or i'm already happy with other friends companies and colleagues coworkers teachers so is there a need that there will be a need for me that i have to go back to that kutumba or it goes on it can go on it can go on that by itself will not uh, create any impediment in your progress we have to also keep in mind that when we are studying this um, we are studying the uh, a stable state of affairs this is the way it should be so ideally we should have our family and kutumba should have been the one that gave us everything that we desired including the city that we were born in and everything okay uh, today because things are in transition so when we study this we implement it for ourselves internally to understand so this is so it's called i'll write the hindi term and and the english term so this is the way you'll have to do it for each behavioral concept that is uh, being put forth here i basically study understand plus accept the 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 uh, you know what is called as a yathartha or the actuality okay which we call as swabhav and dharm this is called vastugat satya okay in fact satya ji is here there are three stages of satya that is defined here one is called stiti satya stiti satya is really what is stiti satya it's up here stiti satya is there is units in space this is stiti satya it never changes yeah so uh, absolute truth the void will always be there has always been there is there today will always be there and units are always there were there will be there today will always be there this is state absolute truth never changes satta mein samprit prakriti that's the word hai na theek hai but samprit means submerged now when i study how to be so this is absolute truth this is how existence is when i understand myself and my relationship uh, living with people and living with nature there is an absolute law that i would like to understand and be according to whether the world understands it or not so internally what i accept is called vastugat satya which you can also call as objective truth what does that mean that as a father irrespective of whether it is an appropriate school for my child or not irrespective of whether my wife is ideal my father is ideal my ownership is ideal what i'm studying is the vastugat satya what is ideal what is perfect and this is the one that i'm going to bank on however my ability to implement it and now ye to ho gaya to study understand and accept to implement i am dependent on the circumstances and this is called vastu sthiti satya this changes okay which is called circumstantial truth yeah so i study this in timelessness because if this is the purpose of a husband wife relationship a father relationship it doesn't matter whether it is in india or africa in 2023 or 2023 this is the way it should always have been and this is what i am going to imbibe in me this is what i need to have stable in me now i'll assess let us say like the particular example you took what is the circumstance circumstance 
I was born in a family with a set of people who have no interest in any of this. एक circumstance हो गया है ना Second circumstance, okay, they will not let me continue do it if I stay with them. Third circumstance, hence I have had to move. Fourth circumstance, I am not perfect in this. I myself am going to start the journey right now. Upper se if I try to drag them in, it will become on royal khichdi. So let me. And if things are not getting, if they don't have any, um, you know, forceful uh, kind of, um, you know, demand from their side, I uh, I'm able to fulfill that demand to the extent needed. So I'll not have let them have it totally their way, but I will not totally negate them either. So if they are expecting me to be in touch with them twenty days a month, I will do it five days every three months. Which ka? <laughs> Something like that. So we'll have to take those calls on every. So for this specific circumstances, this way. Hmm. Like this is what I also had to do. Now my mother would be happy. She'd be overjoyed if I go to the temple every day and read Vishnu Sahasranamam. But I'm not going to do that. Yeah, because I can't. I mean, one is I don't. I'm not interested. Yeah. So what do I do? Do I tell her it's wrong? No. I keep my mouth shut. I don't. I don't antagonize her on the things on her beliefs. But I go four times a year or three times a year. I still don't read it, but I still go. So things like that. It will also come to money. One of the one of the things that we will study when we proceed is you know it's called the concept of swadhan. So self wealth, righteous wealth. Comes from my own production. Can I do that from day one? No. I was trained to be an electronics engineer, and I worked on high-tech computer systems. Now, usko lekar isme dalna is impossible. So what do I do? I start with fifty ml of oil. <laughs> okay. I produce as much oil is needed, and for the rest of it, I apply a filter. So basically, you put an adapter. So here, you will need an adapter. ए सी डी सी अडाप्टर लगता है इधर यस अडाप्टर प्लस इधर इधर सॉरी इधर लगेगा सो दिस इज डी सी दिस इज फ्लक्चुएटिंग ए सी दिस इज साइनस दैट इज फिक्सड है ना डी सी वे वैसा जाता है दिस हाउ इज दिस इज ऑल्टरनेटिंग करेंट एंड हमारे साथ तो ऐसा ऐसा जाता है है ना सो यू नीड अडाप्टर Stabilizer and converter here. So this is what I'm going to be inside. मैं अंदर समृद्ध हो गया forever, है ना? Reserve Bank of India changed the exchange rate. गया, है ना? Trump attack Korea. Hmm? I mean, my tomato cart was going to Hassan for sale. Pakistan dropped a bomb in the middle. This is all over there. So till the world doesn't. And plus, I am also in transition. ये तो तब है जब मैं fix हो गया. I am trying to transition into this understanding, and now the world has no scope for it. So for every situation, I brought up my child in the perfect way. I gave her all the sastra, darshan, gyan, jivan, gyan, everything, and she tells me I want to go become a fashion designer. Now what do I do? Go, Baba. You have studied, you have studied, you have studied, you have studied, you have studied. You have to do fashion designing. Do it. What will you do? You will not be so angry in your body. Is it? I mean, you have time. Okay. When the time comes when your body is going to leave the body, that time when it does mulyankan. No, I have done fashion designing. I had studied, I had Brahma Gyan, and I took fashion designing. Is it? Till next time, it will try for it. क्या करो? Can I engineer my own child to be able to like all this? No. Are there chances it will like it? Yeah, because we you know what children try and copy their parents. My dad was a chemical engineer. I became an engineer. I didn't know any better. My father used a geyser. I am using a geyser. Simple. My father didn't use this heater, so I never thought of the heater. We always had a geyser in the house. We always had a maid servant in the house. We always drank coffee in the house. You see, eighty percent of my material lifestyle comes from my family, and also a big part of the intellectual pursuit. Also about how we see ourselves in society, how confident we are. That confidence comes from the house. 
if by nature we were un- not confident because of the social class caste religious blah blah structure there was a good chance that it would have come on to me also ye to main kahan se jaunga na i cannot import it from some mystical source 99% yahi hoga so if we follow this there is a good chance our child will copy it but what if it says i don't want to you have to be ready yeah so that is circumstantial truth uh yeah so then you have to apply it to every sambandh with your parents with the husband and wife for every aspect like for instance the vinime system the exchange system that we talk of or we study here does not have any monetary currency how will you implement it today it's impossible you cannot go back to the barter system okay so you have to grow things and sell it and the price will keep fluctuating so what do you do you set one big medium high price and keep it for the year when our people were making jaggery from organic ganna they went and asked nagraj ji kya rate rakhe i happen to be there the market rate at that time was some 35 rupees he said 100 rupees rakho kilo he said 100 rupees he said yeah and don't change it for the next 3 years so we will not go with the market fluctuation so kya hai that's a small thing uh so things like that so again sometimes it may not be practical now there were rich people in raipur you know businessmen who were willing to buy it at 100 bucks what if you are sitting in their hubli and you want to sell it for 100 rupees nobody will buy it for 100 rupees they was a baba you keep your organic food i want to die with this chemical jaggery i am not buying it who will buy it you have to sell it back to the same people similarly for milk when milk was retailing at 33 he said the price for 100 it was unheard of 10 years ago our milk was selling for 90 bucks abhi pune mein my i got a message yesterday that they made it 95 the bottle milk i am buying i was getting it for 89 they made it 95 they gave one big like i made a pdf they made a pdf why it should become 95 mera ek dost hai delhi mein he is buying milk dost matlab you know this thing contact i mean i just know him He is buying milk for two hundred and twenty-five rupees a liter. Deshi gai ka dud. I asked why is it so costly. He said it is called love dud. I said what is love dud? He said the person who is rearing the cows sings to the cows. He loves them and he gives them kaju, kishmish, badam, and all that for fodder. <laughs> so, all the properties, abba abba. We, you, we see like we will put uh, good oil in our soap so we put good food into the uh, you will get badam so you don't have to feed her uh, you know kid badam your kid doesn't like badam give it to the cow and give it the milk <laughs> 225m oh barabar hai na see the guy who's earning 6 lakh a month 7 lakh a month is also buying dudes for 100 you are earning 1 lakh you are also buying for 100 to farak kya hua fir i need a place where i can है ना एंजॉय माय वेल्थ सो समबडी केम अप विद लव दूध आज कांसेप्ट अच्छा लगा मुझे प्रेम दूध सो काफ इज फर्स्ट फुली फेड एथिकल मिल्क सो ऑब्वियसली वो बछड़ा पी के तो बचा क्या निकालने को तो प्रोडक्शन कम हो गया तो रेट बिकम 2 एंड 1/2 टाइम्स family usually usually yeah but when i put into my, my when i place myself 99% i rejected everything from my family theek hai if the material like whatever they said to me i didn't obey i didn't follow i didn't listen from that when the time i have memory the my material practices what i mean is the lifestyle choices you know the kind of bed that you're used to the kind of flooring that you're used to the food that you eat and things like that what time you go to sleep what time you wake up no those things the other set of things are beliefs and behavioral traits so if our uh, that's why i said 99% so you belong to the 1% that don't follow it that's a simple answer so <laughs> can be rebel yeah yeah not rebellious i was not at all a rebel like i have my own choices all the time but uh after a point they don't come and interfere only with my very small when yeah, i was 6 yeah. or 7 okay. they stopped telling me things only 
see like if i see today my uh my my intellectual pursuits are totally different the way i see money is very different uh you know the way i probably look at the world with its different colors and people and caste and creed is very different um my attitude towards money is very different from the rest of my family but we're both eat, drinking coffee in the morning we both like the same sambar the same chutney puri that's what i meant okay some of the you know we're both used to this middle class living i've never lived in a village below the poverty line i don't know what it's like i live in that kind of village in kerala over village uh my people like yeah you know people are not cut out similar with my father you're vegetarian i don't eat no vegetarian like um i don't drink milk at all milk tea coffee nothing like that ah no no those are different okay so you have to split choices between milk uh, liking khara khatta sour sweet is to do the prakriti of the body it is not an assumption of the self aapka body ka jo prakriti hai that will decide jaise meri beti hai she only, she doesn't like sweet she only likes spicy and sour things my brother's child children love sweets this son runs away from sweet that is to do the prakriti of your body the body prakriti will decide some taste choices okay uh, to do with the senses uh, yeah both of your parents are okay so i was wondering like i like behavior influence us there like i copied a lot of actions from my father like yeah. anger the way i argue yeah that's the only thing i am able to relate but rest of the things i yeah means aware not conscious like i was rejected by self like i don't want whatever you say i don't want i just mm. i don't want like that yeah that's that's like really how our our vritti or you know decision making changes okay so i'll just uh, close this and then we can go for lunch so the seven uh, relationships within the family each can be discussed for like 20 minutes each but i think you've kind of got the crux of what goes into making and breaking relationships which is what we spent an entire day on trust respect and affection the rest are the seven relationships and their purposes again this is vastu gat satya sometimes we may be close to some of them sometimes we may be totally gone case in them okay but otherwise uh, these seven hold we spoke of trust respect and affection these are the three founding values and there are nine uh, five uh, six more which are called care mamta guidance vatsalya reverence shraddha glory gaurav gratitude and love trust respect and affection we have for everyone mamta is basically taking care of the physical ailment in the other like a mother towards a hungry child or if you get hurt and i come and help you out or you have fever and you know we give you whatever maha sudarshan kada or we help each other out that is mamta guidance is what a teacher should have towards a student vatsalya if i have that vatsalya bhava then i am responsible for the overall development of the child today of course if a teacher is in a job you think they care for the development of the child nothing they just want to take their salary and go home so really you see they are living as empty hollow containers yeah really nothing when it comes to education very rare that somebody is a heartfelt and even then they will try and translate uh, like i remember I was a very average student in engineering but i top class in one subject and when i look back i find that that teacher was very friendly and he made the subject very interesting and i top class in that subject uh, that year was the best year for me because i got a distinction otherwise everything else was a problem so really that reverence is shraddha when we are looking up towards somebody who has good qualities and we would like to be like them okay uh, not be special so there is a difference between being shreshth and visheshth so here when you are looking at somebody who is shreshth uh ulta ho gaya glory and reverence the order is ulta so what i said right now so glory reverence is when we find somebody identify somebody who is a guru and say i will now strive to be like them that is the feeling of reverence is called shraddha gratitude kritagyata is the feeling we have 
from the acknowledgement for anybody who has helped me in my material, behavioral, intellectual or spiritual progress. So I am helpful for the man who brings the milk. I am helpful for the guy who invented the, the, I don't know, wireless communication. I am helpful to the people in society because they bring salt to my doorstep. I am helpful to the people who help me with my intellectual growth. I am helpful to people who help me. So all four, not just one, two or three. Okay. So pretty much I am ending up being gratitude towards everybody. And then there are some people who impact us directly and we feel that gratitude or we, you know, express it towards them. Love is the unconditional uh, feeling of acceptance towards all of humanity. So the really, really uh, expanded form of affection is called love. Okay, when, when it grows to for every living being hmm, and then all of existence. So it is a final value that we get. So typically we start with the first three, then we go to the fourth one and then we go to number eight. And then we go to 5, 6 and 7. That's the order that one, one sees when we grow. So really we don't have time for the remainder of the values. So I'll just skip them. So each one of them has its own discussion. When you attend, I will also explain when you attend some of the other Jeevan. I have uh, purposefully decided to focus on some aspects of the content and, and not go through the rest of the aspects. So that's complimentary because if you attend the other workshops, you will get the other ones and maybe less of this. So put together, it will form a whole. So these are established and expressed values. So these are the nine established values. When we have this established value, we display this in our expression. For instance, if you respect me, you will be cordial in your behavior. If you disrespect me, your body language will show it. If you care for me, it will be shown by you being generous. Okay. If you have guidance, the feeling of vatsalya, there will be no shobaji. Merko pata hai, tumko nahi pata. Then there is no real guidance. Then there is a naturalness. If I have reverence towards somebody, I am going to try and become like them. So it will be shown by veneration. This is called pujyata, puja, not the ghantiwala. The ghantiwala is the beginning one, okay? But then even the ghantiwala is the first step of a beautiful sutra called the Navada Bhakti Sutra. It goes up all the way into something called sarupyata. It goes all the way to love. So it starts with the ganti and goes to love. Towards that is the devata. Okay. But here really we don't need the ganti. We can we can copy each other's skills, our behavioral, intellectual and spiritual dimensions. If I feel reverent, a glory for somebody, gaurav, it will be shown as my saralta in front of them. Even today, you know, when you meet the collector or the uh, whatever, the chief minister, then people, they automatically become simple. Jisko upar maante na, uske saamne jhukte hai. Jisko same maante, we stare into them. And jisko niche maante, we look down upon them. So this is looking upwards. So there is titi and gati, mulyas, which we are not covering in this session. We have to do it in a subsequent level 2 or a level 3 session. But this is really the pending portion. This is the words in Hindi. Um... It's in Devanagari script, so those who can read it can read it. Um, you want to take a photograph? Okay, I'll give you the PDF. I mean, we're all getting the PDF anyways. Ah, we not such a lie. Glorious. Towards a person. Towards a person. When you have this, you will show this. And this is the source of my tripti. behavioral dimension me tripti in in Mulya Mula Kaswaran from Ruchi, from values and from purpose. These are the values. When I have Anubhava, I re, this becomes source of my happiness and source of my complementariness. It's both. Mujhe bhi achha lagta hai, aapko bhi achha lagta hai. These are these. And I show these. I will experience this. I will display this. Titi Gati. Okay. So, really, when there is trust and affection, we use this. You know, so you need the feeling for the relationship. Just because I call you a friend does not mean I'll get the feeling. Just say, when I have the feeling, I say, this is my son, Beta, because I have the feeling of Vatsalya. My beta bolke, I give you some work to do, then that is not beta. 
when I went to Kanpur, I found out if somebody tell, calls you, beta, it means they are going to give you some work. Kuch kaam, beta, thoda hai kaam kar de. Beta, thoda la de. Kaam pe laga dete. Bola, yaar, abhi to beta bola, phir kaam pakadata hai. Toh naukari bol deta. Abhi naukar kaam kar, toh kar deta mein. Right? Became, first time I was confused. Or <laughs> 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 he said, yeh, hamare bhai hai. Hai na? Then he expects her to listen to everything he says. Well, you said, brother, I am mean, standing next to you. Then you get to your hand. So the words that we use do not give rise to the bhava, to the, 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 to the feeling. The feeling is born out of an understanding. It is the outcome of an acceptance, out of, of a clarity and then it is expressed uh, like this. Uh, art of living in the family. Now we come to Jine ki kala. Dekho, art of living ta kaane mein kita time lagta hai. Pun intended, okay? So, not so easy to get out of living. You have to go first to the um, uh, knowledge of living, then to the wisdom of living, then you will get out of living. Gyan, vivek, uske baad vigyan. Okay? So, I, I will skip all this. Why you should live in a family? I think we've kind of covered this. This is an important line. I'll just put it here. Justice or nyai is the satisfaction in the relationship. So when you say that there has been nyai, it basically means both of us are feeling fulfilled. Our need for nyai is fulfilled, not the judgment that is being passed in the courts. Um, of course, what is the status in the family? Everybody is busy doing something else. So nobody is paying attention to the fact that we are here to fulfill each other emotionally. They are lost and trying to whatever, you know, have their way in the relationship. So that's really the problem, right? And uh, there are these five misapprehensions. I'll just put it here. You can read it at home. Let it be. Ghar pe padlo. Padne mein bhi time time lagega, you know? Kindness deficit, dhirta ka deficit, affection ka deficit, respect ka deficit, ya trust ka deficit. Pancho kahi na kahi kam hota, which is why, you know, we have these issues. Reasons for the same. Lack of proper evaluation. We already went through this chart, remember? I won't repeat it. It's come up here again. Uh, the logical reason, this is too busy. We'll take it when we meet sometime next. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> it's pretty simple. Rup gun and I just put the not very complicated. <laughs> huh? If it was so. No, it feels it's pretty simple because it is worked out. We read the darshan, we didn't know, you know, so the, what I'm presenting you to use what we've been able to put together. When you read the darshan, you don't get charts like this. It's, 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 it's scattered. It's like trying to um, whatever. Yeah. So, um, this already, what are the basis for our interacting with people? So, there's a lot of stuff. So, uh, all this is already there in the book. So when I go back, I'll I'll email the book to all of you. So those of you who are interested can read it. The book will have all this written, everything that I shared in a different order. It's in a different order, not self-existence relationship. That is the, it goes ulta. English, English here. Yeah, yeah. But that is, in, oh, Chota Bhim. Okay. My book is Chota Bhim. When, this is an important one, I'll just close this here. When we are able to see our relationship with every unit in existence, then we are able to expand from family to world family. So then we see the notion of an undivided human race. Okay, just like all coconut trees on this earth are the same, I am able to see all humans on this planet are the same. And the affection I have for one person can then be seen as having for every person. Which is why when the man comes and asks you for the time, you have to tell him the time in the right way, in a nice way. Okay? So that's... <laughs> Good. So we are done. That was the relationships part. Okay? We'll break for lunch and come back. I will summarize this Manvita Poonacharan, summarize the rest of the session. And uh, let's see what else we can summarize. So what is the time now? 120. Should we come back at 3, three o'clock? Huh? One hour, 40 minute break. Good enough? 3 p.m. Okay.